this weekend we have uh, an opportunity to, at least from my perspective, uh, to show great honor and, and respect and support uh, and affection for the men and women who are serving this country in Iraq and who have served this country in Iraq. Plus all the men and women who absolutely deserve to be honored for having worn the uniform of the United States of America over the past many decades. Uh, this is a great opportunity for us this weekend. I want to talk about our men and women coming back from Iraq because what's happening is like almost one out of three have some sort of fairly serious problems, emotional problems, mental problems. That's in addition to the thousands who've died and the many thousands more who've had serious physical injuries. I do believe we have a sacred contract with men and women who serve this country. So we want to evaluate what they need and be there for them and have a, have a continuous network of care to make sure that they get what they're entitled to. No more of this Walter Reed stuff, you know. We're going we're gonna to take care of the men and women who serve us. Hey, hey, and we also have a responsibility to take care of the families of the men and women who are serving in Iraq. And that means narrowing the gap between civilian pay and military pay so that their families can actually have a standard of living. It means making sure that if they need child care, that they get the child care that they need and that they deserve. And then third, as men and women come back from Iraq, we want to make sure we meet the educational and job training needs that they have to get them back into, out of the military, if they're leaving the military, and back into civilian life. Help them get a job, help them get education. This is what we ought to be doing. Instead of just, instead of just yapping about supporting the troops, how about if we actually support the troops? How about if we do what they deserve? <laughs> You know, and just one other example, you know, we have men and women, young men and women serving uh, either as reservists in the National Guard who have student loans. Seems like the least we can do is suspend their student loan payments while they're serving the United States of America. I mean, these are the kind of things, substantive things we can do. And the other thing we ought to do to honor the men and women, all men and women who've ever worn the uniform of the United States of America, is we ought to actually fund the Veterans Administration so that they get the health care that they're entitled to. We should not have our VA subject to the budgetary whims of each Congress. There should be a dedicated stream of revenue that funds the Veterans Administration and so that we know that our veterans are being taken care of so they're not having to wait five or six months to get the health care that they need, to get the treatment that they need. I mean, these are the things that mean we're actually doing what we need to do to support our troops as, support, as opposed to just talking about it. And then finally, last but not least, it is time to support our troops by bringing them home and ending this war in Iraq.